Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we will talk about WebSocket. WebSocket is uh, so useful for Android applications. Mostly, you can see WebSocket inside a chat application or dating application or a message application. Today, we will create a WebSocket structure. As you can see, our application is ready. Let's look to our log chat and uh, clear this area. Clean this area and uh, when I clicked this socket button, as you can see, connection connecting and uh, it's connected. It means it's Turkish. Our data are here. This is a simple web socket uh, example. Okay, let's start the video. As usual, I want to create a new project. And yes, inside the mod, uh, build Gradle, we have to add WebSocket implementation like this. And also, I want to use data binding and add this plugin in here and click the synchronize now. And if you want to use WebSocket, you will need a WebSocket listener. Let's create a listener for our web sockets and this inherits from web socket listener like this and as you can see we have an error uh, because Android Studio uh, didn't see the our library let's add manually like this and First function will be uh, on open function. This function means the first function of uh, our web socket. And I want to send a message to our web socket. Web socket dot send hello world. And this parameter uh, came from our uh, constructors. And I want to write a log and connected and our uh, next function will be on message function and output web sockets text Let's create this output function. And it's not private. I mean, it doesn't matter if, if it's private or not. Log.d web sockets and our text parameter. And another function we will use on closing websocket dot close normal closer status we will create now this parameter and second parameter will be none and output will be closing and type will be our code and also reason reason like this okay let's define this normal uh, closer status inside a companion object private cons while equals to one zero zero and our next function will be on failure output that output uh, error and our error we will write uh, on the screen our error t dot message and also
Ah, okay. It is enough, I think. And yes, our uh, listener class is ready right now. Inside the, uh, let's go to the main activity file. And first of all, uh, we forgot to write some code inside our layout folder. Let's copy and paste here. I mean, it's really a simple layout. As you can see, uh, we converted uh, our layout type to, top, to data binding layout uh, for access uh, our UI elements. And inside the relative layout, we had we have a button. Okay, <laughs> this is the our UI. Let's go to the main activity and define our private latener var binding. Activity main binding binding equals to activity main binding that's inflate layout inflator blah blah root like this and binding that connect button that sets and click listener and I want to First of all, uh, we have a we need a API, API key for my WebSocket. I am taking uh, my API key inside in here. As you can see, PSSocket is free to use. Uh, you can use this website for your uh, testing, whatever you want. Okay, this is our demo key. And channel ID we will need okay now we will create our request while request inherit request request but uh, you have to select this ok http3 equals to request that that builder that URL. Uh, this is my WebSocket URL. As I said before, uh, I am taking uh, my WebSocket data uh, from this website, PioSocket. Uh, and as you can see, I mean this URL uh, might be different uh, your WebSocket, but. Uh, I have to define uh, our channel ID and also our API key. And that's built. And let's create a listener parameter from our WebSocket listener. And while we as equals to WebSocket. equals to clients Landry Studio doesn't see the client before uh, because uh, <laughs> we didn't create our client parameter let's create quickly equals to oak HTTP clients client dots new web sockets new web sockets our requests and our listener and it will be like this okay let's try to run our application let's open our log chat and clear all logs and click the connect oh okay <laughs> I got the I understand we forgot to open our internet permission it's awful guys sorry for that let's open quickly and run again
and yes clear all uh, log and click the this button as you can see connect and and hello well hello world that means uh, our application working fine thanks for watching see you the next video